Okay, my name is Rüdiger Weinhardt and I'm Director of Sales and Service uh, with the company Starkstrom Gerätebau GmbH. In short, we would call it SGB. SGB. Perfect. <laughs> I, I would have a very difficult time pronouncing that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. But SGB. Okay. Yes, SGB. Perfect. Yeah, so um, we're going to kick off, right, just talk about the, uh, you know, we want to cover what, what your company is about, um, you know, how you've expanded, you're in the, you're in the Canadian market now, and, ju and just sort of go through it. So uh, how, how long have you been with the company? I've been with the company now for more than eight years. Oh. Uh, always in the same position. Oh, really? Yes, and um, it's really a company I enjoy working with. Why is this? Because um, there's a lot of sustainability within the company, a lot of people that are very senior. Mm. Um, I have uh, already had people uh, that we sent into um, na, uh, retirement with 50 years being Fif with the company. 50 years? 50 years, five zero. Wow. I have my, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so started once when they were 15. Yeah, uh, once, yes, yes, yes. They wow. started with their apprenticeship and yeah. then um, they stayed all their life with the company. That's really a That's sign of a, of a good company yes. when you hear stuff like that. Yeah. And I even have myself and my team in the uh, sales team, I have people that uh, are with the company for 40 years with even their father uh, have been working with the company. Really, yeah. yeah. I, you know, when Rory was talking about getting an interview with you, um, mm. one of your, your sales reps was one of the first person when we were actually setting up, he was here and we were, mm. and he, he mentioned that the, the first guy we met from the company was so friendly and then he met you and everybody, it was from top down, just everybody was so friendly. So it speaks a lot about yes. the company and a company culture when, you know, it's very approachable, everybody can talk and they're taking, I still see him out there walking around yeah, meeting yeah. everybody. <laughs> 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 yes, yes. So... Tell us a little bit about the company, the, the product itself. You know how it separates out from a lot of competitors. I know there's, I mean, there's there work on the on the haul trucks that they're doing, um, on the turbines. I know you're doing a lot of, of really good work. Yeah. So could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, maybe first of all, what are we doing in general? There's, uh, in fact, just one product that we manufacture that is uh, transformers. Mm. So we are given all our focus on uh, making, manufacturing, servicing. Uh, transformers, uh, but these transformers are being used, you know, for all sorts of purposes. Starts with power generation, so you will find transformers, probably even in Canada with Hydro Quebec, um, for water power plants, for nuclear power plants. They have the size of, um, I would say, a, a townhouse. Really? Very big, very well, big. I might get you to move the mic just a, just little, a bit little bit closer to closer. your mouth. Mm. I'm hearing a little bit. Yeah. Like a this? Little, yeah. Is it better now? A little bit closer? Uh, or a little bit closer? Just a little bit closer, I think. There we go. There like we go. this? Yes. That's good. Is that good? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, uh, so these transformers are, are massive then? Yes. Yeah. And then, so that's for power to, uh, generation. Then uh, we also do transformers for power transmission. So that's the big lines that you usually see in the landscape. Yeah. Could, could you explain that system just a little bit? I mean, I, I don't you know, not the engineering side of it, but just the basic function of it. Because I, I know it's a lot of people that are watching aren't going to even realize that the mining industry is doing that. Uh, here in Vancouver, the whole bus system downtown operates on a similar system, I believe. It's it's the lines going to the, for, that power the haul trucks. So could you explain a little bit about that system? You mean the system about, uh, of, uh, uh, the particularly for, for, the, uh, for the mining industry? Yeah, the transform. Cause I believe you have some sort of transformer that, that is it's powering these haul trucks. Is that right? Yes, yes. Uh, but maybe, you know, let me finish shortly, you know, okay. what the entire range is. So power generation. Normally, you wouldn't be needing that in the mining industry. Right. Power transmission, you already might be needing transformers. And we already supply transformers for the mining industry. Right. In power transmission, that is receiving the energy somewhere from these big lines going through the landscape and uh, bringing it to the site. So it provides uh, total energy to the site of, a, of an industrial plant. Can be a mining plant, can be a different plant. Right. And from there it is then, that is the next uh, thing that we do, it is distributed oh, okay. for various consumers. And um, in terms of mining, what do we do? There's again a variety of applications that could be Providing energy to the people d working down in the shaft mm -hmm. for light, 
for driving the machines. You need uh, transformers to operate uh, the baskets, that the rock winders and man winders that bring people down in the shaft, that bring material up and down the shaft. Um, and uh, we had uh, been doing some unique solutions. Mm -hmm. One of uh, uh, them you already mentioned, that is electrification of these very big trucks running from an open pit mine to wherever it is unloaded and put on a train. Mm -hmm. uh, what is so unique about it? Um, normally, these machines, these big trucks, they run run on diesel. Yes. And with electrification, uh, we were able to save a consumption of one million liters per month, which is not needed anymore. And you can imagine what kind of value that represents. Unbelievable, yeah. actually, yeah. So these, so these trucks, um, and I was, I was quite fascinated. I mean, the haul mm. trucks, right? Everybody, no, someone who doesn't know anything about mining, they know the haul truck, the yeah, big yeah. truck that the this tires yes. taller than the human. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and so are these, are these sort of a hybrid of trucks because they must have to go into unique situations that they haven't cabled in. So are these trucks, do they come out of, the, start to come out of the pit and then hook up to these lines? Yes, is exactly, that? exactly. That's what it is. Yeah. For emergency cases, they are still have the diesel motor. Right. But predominantly, they are right now, they are running on uh, electrical energy yeah. that is provided. And for this, of course, you need uh, transformers. And you must have, now you must have com a lot of competition in the space, but you're, you have sort of a, a unique product. I mean, there's obviously a high quality uh, of what you have yes. as well. So what, what is the main separation of, of your transformers from, from a lot of other ones? Yeah, first of all, of course, it's the entire approach that we... Uh, uh, and it's also what the company is standing for, is uh, quality, reliability. Mm -hmm. So somebody who wants to have just a, a cheaper solution um, on what they already uh, are procuring, mm -hmm. then SGB probably would be the wrong company. We are very proud of uh, providing sustainable solutions, reliable solutions that last for a long time. Um, there's highest quality standards that we apply. And uh, there's also, um, I would call it engineered solutions that we mm -hmm. do. Just to give you an example, we had been building uh, in a mine in a sub-Saharan area that was in a copper mine, underground copper mine. We had been asked to provide a solution, a complete substation, mini substation for underground operation. And um, the request was, the requirement was to uh, to build it to a size that it can fit into uh, a rock winder. <coughs> it took us a little bit of time in order to do the engineering for it. Uh, in the first place, we lost the order. We lost the order to a company from uh, from the Asian market. Mm -hmm. um, but what happened? They provided a standard solution out of a catalog. Right. And um, then the solution got there and it couldn't fit it into this rock winder. Mm -hmm. So fast it took maybe three weeks longer, but we came up with a solution perfectly fit and shaped into, wow. into the rock winder. We could bring it down. It took them like a couple of hours, uh, um, all the operation to bring it uh, down to where it was needed. So yeah, and that's <coughs> and that's something I think uh, I didn't quite realize when you when you sat down. So you're you're not uh, you don't have these standard sizes. You're Correct. you actually have engineers on yes. staff that are customizing these Correct. to the solutions. Correct. Wow. Um, and, and now, are you have you been in the Canadian and North American market for a long time, or are you are you entering the market now? Um, <coughs> we are already uh, like a. Mm, selling transformers to the U.S. market for quite yes. some time, partially out of uh, out of Europe, um, mainly for the utilities. Right. Uh, we also do a serial type uh, business with wind turbine manufacturers in the United I States. I want to ask you about yeah. those. Is those? And yeah, uh, you're supplying. Uh, you're a major supplier to that. Are you not? Yes, we are yeah. probably. I would say, among the big three that supply transformers to uh, the wind industry. Here in the United States, no, not here, but <laughs> a little bit further south, 
In the US, we have an assembly plant that we built for a European customer that has a nacelle production in Colorado. And uh, there we supply probably around 600 units for them. Really? Yeah, and these wind turbines, then they are erected uh, in the entire North America mar market, including Canada. So there's definitely also quite a number of uh, wind turbines that carry an SGB transformer in Canada. Yeah, <coughs> for such a for such a, co a company that's been around so long, um, mm -hmm. uh, you've been with the company eight years. There's, there's people who've been with the company for <laughs> 50 years. You must see a, a, a big theme of this uh, this show. I mean, everybody that's coming is talking about new technologies, mm. um, which is really even a few years ago when I was at the show, um, there wasn't as much talk. It was a bit, um, but now it's every every second conversation I have, or pretty much everyone is about the technology. How has the technology changed it within your within your sector within the transformers over the last you know 10 20 years you mean particularly for the mining industry it or generally uh, mining and generally yeah yeah generally if you look at the transformer like uh, that we had been building and developing uh, especially the cast resin transformer that uh, we are trying to promote here for the mining industry in Canada uh, it hasn't changed that much so uh, the principle stays the same. Uh, it's HV, high voltage coils, it's low voltage coils, and it's a magnetic steel core. So that's all the same. It is more optimization in the detail, uh, and what is it mostly, ab uh, mostly about? It is um, trying to build a transformer um, in order to reduce losses of a transformer, so right. to make it more energy sufficient. And um, I think this is a requirement coming from virtually every industry, mm -hmm. be it in the mining industry, be it uh, in a wind turbine, uh, where losses really play a very important role. Yeah. <coughs> well, and I, I, I'm not an expert on the wind mm. turbines by any stretch, but I, I know one of their major issues that they face is um, is wearing out and having to replace them. Yeah. And so, so you're, you, at least in, in your product that's going into it, that's one thing that they don't have to worry about because of the, the longevity of the product. Yeah. How has the show been for you? Um, you know, have you have you got good response? And yes, we did. Yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just um, to come back to your uh, earlier questions uh, concerning our um, activities in Canada. Yes. So yes, for the mining industry, this is the first time that we come here. Oh, it is. In order to introduce ourselves, we had been very successfully introducing our solutions in the South African or Sub-Saharan mining market. We had been to a show yes, uh, last year in Chile. And uh, after the success in Chile, then we said, where's the next show? Where's yeah. the next mining yeah. show that we could go to in order to share you know, our successes with, uh, with, uh, with the mining industry? Yeah. And that was Canada. Right now, we are uh, looking for a good partner, but not only a partner that is doing sales representationship, Mm. but is also doing parts of the entire solution. Right. So, so a real partnership. You, yes. So you can provide service on yes. the ground yes. here, yeah. And do sheet metal manufacturing in order to house the uh, transformer. So we had been some win-win situations. One example in, in South Africa where a company, local company, had been growing with us from four or five to today 20 people. Wow. So it's a combined engineered approach and that's what we are looking for here in Canada as well. Yeah. Do you do you notice a, a difference when you go uh, you know like Chile obviously their their mining is world class and, and Canada do you notice a difference in interaction when you're at the at these shows or, or is it May yeah, for me of course it's a little bit easier uh, interacting because uh, everyone is speaking except some people in Quebec uh, are speaking English in yeah. Chile everything is Spanish. Yes. Uh, you go to the mining industry uh, the largest um, operation or the largest mining company in Chile is Codelco, state-owned. And uh, except some procurement people, the engineers, they all will be speaking Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> but they're, they're definitely hungry to grow their economy there. So was that, was, yes. was that a quite successful show going there as well? Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the mining companies in principally, they are all very international. So yes. the Canadian have operations outside the Chile uh, mining companies. They have uh, operations outside or from outside, you know, they are... Um, they are financing uh, locally. You know? So it's a very small community, to be very honest. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Well, I don't want to keep you too long. I know you're going to try. You're going out there trying to find partners in sales. So uh, I know I know we had to drag you away to get you in here. But I I really do. Thanks for uh, for sitting down and talking to us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Yes. Thank you. And good luck. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care.